Fans are mourning the loss of Glenn Campbell and celebrating his bravery. The 81-year-old music legend died after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. WJZ is live. Tracy Leong explains how his public fight is shining a light on this illness. Tracy? Well, Jessica Glenn Campbell was diagnosed in 2011, and with his family by his side, he raised awareness for Alzheimer's disease and shared a very personal side with fans. Like a Legendary country star Glenn Campbell remembered for his talent as a singer, songwriter, TV host, and actor. And in the later years anymore. of his career, it was his public battle what with I, Alzheimer's disease. What do I do? Like what? <laughs> you forget things. You're going to need it. After he was diagnosed in 2011, he went on a farewell tour, performing songs with the help of a teleprompter and his we family and fans one, offering encouragement when he struggled on stage, giving this disease a very public spotlight. Just highlights the importance of continued research on not only ways of treating Alzheimer's disease, but I certainly hope that within my lifetime we can get to a point where we can actually cure it. Mercy Medical Center's geriatric specialist, Dr. Wright, applauds the musician's desire to tell his story about the disease and says it's an illness that cannot be prevented, but starting a dialogue and raising awareness about early detection can slow down the progression. The studies would suggest that people age 80 years and older, about 30 percent of that population have you know, a dementia of the Alzheimer's type, and I think it gives us an opportunity to talk about the disease. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. The Country Music Hall of Fame artist, an inspirational public face of the disease, celebrated for his passion both on and off the stage. Last year, Glenn Campbell's wife founded the website Care Living, dedicated to helping caregivers and educating people about this disease. Jessica, back to you. Tracy, thank you. For more information on the organization Care Living, you can go to our website, cbsbaltimore.com.